stabilized rocket the views from the launcher camera in a few seconds uh, the vehicle will undergo the condition of maximum aerodynamic pressure followed by the motor burnout and we will get you those confirmations shortly the vehicle will experience q max around 15 seconds and at the same time maximum aerodynamic loads will occur just to remind the viewers this is an aerodynamically stabilized vehicle at 20 seconds flight time we have reached mark 5 which means it is flying at five times the velocity of sound and with this the vehicle has achieved hypersonic velocities it looks like we do have successful burnout and the flight trajectory is tracking as per the prediction rocket is now at the altitude of 66 kilometers 67 now we have completed 80 seconds of flight time we are around 34 seconds away from the launch pad and the totally intended trajectory is being followed the present altitude is 75 kilometers as we slowly go towards our target of crossing 80 kilometers and way beyond that uh, nominally we expect to be around 100 kilometers uh, uh, when the peak altitude occurs see the screen views from the mission control center 86 kilometers in altitude we are at 85 kilometers now and uh, slowly and steadily we are reaching our peak altitude uh, if you can see it on the screens the um, altitude profile is being shown around 133 seconds have passed we are very close to the, our peak altitude we are now at around 88 kilometers peak altitude and uh, uh, everything has gone as per we have planned we are very close to the peak altitude now the peak altitude performance has been reached at around 155 seconds and now slowly the rocket will start its descent actually it has just started from 88 kilometers now it has come to around 87.1 kilometer the peak altitude being met this mission today has given a good such a successful satisfactory performance as intended by us ji ha ek safal udan pratham udan vikram s ke liye prarambh bada hi rochak raha ye rocket apni gantavya tak bhi pahuncha aur ab apni altitude ko ghatane ki koshish mein मात्र 70 किलोमीटर के ऑल्टीट्यूड पर अब ये रॉकेट स्थित है दिस रॉकेट अचीव द एपोजी ऑफ 89.5 किलोमीटर दैट इज द पीक ऑल्टीट्यूड अचीव बाई दिस रॉकेट वॉज 89.5। पॉइंट फाइव अवर टारगेट वॉज टू क्रॉस एटी किलोमीटर एज यू ऑल नो एटी किलोमीटर इज कॉमनली डिफाइंड एज द स्टार्ट ऑफ स्पेस सो दिस रॉकेट सक्सेसफुली वेंट इन टू स्पेस एज वी इंटेंडेड एंड नाउ after completing its mission of achieving the peak orbit creating the conditions for the payloads to function and uh, completing its job successfully it is or it is on its way back to a safe splash down in the bay of bengal as we have intended the range right now is 115 kilometers away from shar and we expect it to impact somewhere around 130 kilometers away from shar the whole thing has gone as per planned ye bahut hi khushi ki baat hai ki sky route ki taraf se unke pehle abhiyan mein hi jo unhone plan kiya tha jo humne plan kiya tha wo hum successful rahe aur ab ye rocket apne splash down ke bahut hi nazdeek hai aur hum kisi bhi shan ab splash down ke karenge aur ye mission successfully अकम्प्लिश uh, हो जाएगा uh, हम यहां पर बधाई देना चाहेंगे इन स्पेस को जिन्होंने इस पूरे मिशन को रेगुलेट किया गाइड किया हम बधाई देना चाहेंगे सतीश धवन स्पेस सेंटर श्रीहरी कोटा को जिन्होंने जिन्होंने 
ये हमें फैसिलिटेट किया इसरो को इसरो चेयरमैन को वी थैंक ऑल दिस पीपल वी आर हम्बल्ड बाय द सपोर्ट विच वी गॉट हैप्पी व्यूज फ्रॉम द मिशन कंट्रोल एंड या एंड नाउ वी टेक लीव फ्रॉम यू गुड बाय फ्रॉम अवर साइड हैंडिंग ओवर टू श्री पवन गोयन का चेयरमैन इन स्पेस फॉर हिस्स स्पीच Thank you viewers goodbye Thank you viewers for joining us we sign off Safety officer confirm uh, clear launch uh, Please stand by we are going for inspection will assess and clear rather is normal Good morning. I am happy to announce the successful completion of Mission Prarambh, the beginning of a sky route aerospace. The rocket VKS took off at LEA of 80 degrees and azimuth of 100 degrees, achieved an altitude of 89.5 kilometers. and a range of 121.2 kilometers exactly what was planned by skyroot aerospace all systems as i can make out worked as planned and skyroot aerospace has demonstrated capability of various subsystems that will go into the orbital launch vehicle i congratulate skyroot aerospace their team members and thank various centers of isro All right there you have quite a historic moment a pride moment proud moment for India undoubtedly as we see the first ever private rocket Vikram S that's been launched it's already gone into its space journey let me cut across to Pramod Madhav who's joining us uh, live right in Sri Hari Kota Pramod over to you what's the uh, what's the e eagerness among the crowds there to watch this first ever private rocket get into space give us a little detail on who are those present there we see union minister jitendra singh it up it is absolutely a very important moment for for us nabila because this is for me if you could call this as a private company but the thing is here it it involves a first step towards space policy and like uh, somebody who is willing to uh, reach space so it, that's that's how it's being looked at because vikram s which has been dedicated to vikram sarabhai vikram s suborbital the actual range was 80 kilometers to 120 kilometers and it has reached a spot and all designated systems everything has worked fine this was a technology demonstrator they used spin thrusters they used 3D printing technology to actually create parts for the thruster and using carbon composite. That way, they can bring down the actual weight of the uh, rocket system. All these were employed. All right, there you have Jitendra Singh, Union Minister, speaking on as he launches this first ever private rocket. And very many thanks to Honorable Prime Minister Modi ji, who has made this effort possible. by opening up the space sector to public private participation <laughs> it's all so a, a major step forward to india developing its own space ecosystem and emerging as a front line nation in the community of world nations and of course a turning point in india's startup movement well done team skyroot the count the co-founders can join me here pavan iit khadakpur alumni bharat iit madras alumni who have worked day and night to make this possible and of course kudos isro you have this day on the 18th of november 2022 added yet one more feather 
into your much decorated hat. And thanks, thanks ISRO for putting India as a frontline nation in the years to come and a nation to which others would look forward to vital cues in the journey of space sector. Thanks once again. Congratulations. Congratulations, everybody. Well done. All right. India's proud request, moment uh, as the first ever private rocket from, uh, gets into space. And this, right here on India Today, we continue to track. We'll be slipping into a short break. We'll be right back. Do stay tuned. You are watching India Today. Armed with facts, she takes the news by its horns. You think the future of these students are not hampered? Fierce, bold, and direct, setting the tone for the biggest stories. 